you know what projection season means for most fans? It's that time of year when people around the country all decide that the computers hate your favorite team for one reason or another. Let's talk through this year's Pakoda projections and the three most important players for the Twins to meet that projection on today's daily basis. I'm Do Hyung Park of MLB.com. Good old Pakoda. It's Baseball Prospectus' annual way of projecting the most likely outcomes for each player and team based on historical performance. And at least this year, Twins fans have nothing to be mad about. Pakoda gives the Twins a 61% chance of three-peating his AL Central titles, with a 91-71 and 71 predicted record that would rank third best in the American League and clear the field in the AL Central by five games. Now keep in mind that there's a wide range of these possible outcomes, and the uncertainty factor is probably more magnified considering we're coming off a 60-game season. Now it's one thing for the Twins to be anointed preseason computer champions, it's another to survive the full gauntlet of a season and actually come out on top. With that in mind, which three players are most important for the Twins to actually meet those expectations? Let's start with my first player, and that's Michael Pineda. Now it's been a tough two years for Big Mike, 2019 that suspension hit at a tough time, and in 2020 the shortened season meant that he missed a larger chunk of the season than he otherwise would have. When he's been on the field though, he's been about as good of a number three as you could have hoped for. That 391 ERA, the consistency in command, and the consistency in his performance make him a number three that most teams would be thrilled to have. I think the Twins will also need good things from newly acquired reliever Hansel Robles. Incredibly, the Twins are turning over a full two-thirds of their trusted bullpen core from last season with the losses of May, Clifford, Romo, and Whistler. Newly acquired Alex Colome and Robles will have to pick up a lot of that slack. Colome is coming off a great season in Chicago, but Robles is not with a 10.26 ERA and a loss of the closer job for the Angels due to decrease in his velocity and a loss in his command. A bounce back from Robles will be important in building out that late inning depth and also keeping the pressure off still developing younger arms like Cody Stashak, Jorge Alcala, and Eduardo Colina. Finally, we can't complete this list without Luis Arise. And last year I would have said Marwin Gonzalez in the spot too. Trust me, Arise's ability to play second base, third base, a little bit of short, and some left field will come in handy over the course of a full season due to injuries and everything that comes along with that, and his contact bat and his ability to seamlessly fill in at those positions will be so critical. And that's it. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell us what you think. Until next time, keep in touch with us and keep up with your information on MLB.com and MLB Network. Stay warm, Twins fans. I'm Do Hyung Park.